That's the front, the front window's going. Yeah, it's going. It's going. Hi everyone, Donut here. You better buckle up for this video. We got a drunk dude with a 50 caliber rifle, a SWAT team, and one armored vehicle that's barely hanging on for life. <laughs> These officers are up against a guy who looks like he's prepping for the apocalypse. Basically, someone who looks like one of us. And this suspect wasn't just making empty threats. He was firing shots at the SWAT team that nearly punched through their Bearcat armored windshield. Things got real puckery real fast. Usually when a SWAT team goes up against someone, they're not shooting at you with a 50. Stick around to see how this standoff spirals, but first, a word from our sponsor. Our sponsor for this video is Aura. If you haven't been taking your personal information online seriously, now's the time to. You are more vulnerable than ever in today's digital landscape. For instance, Dell suffered a breach this year that exposed 3.9 million people's personal information. AT&T just suffered data breaches that released 2.5 million people's personal information. And then soon after, one that exposed 9 million people's personal information. Hell, even a few months ago, National Public Data released every single American's public information. Well, nearly. This incident compromised over 2.9 interesting that I saw on Twitter. It's kind of neat. Turns out the police department in Irvine, California is getting a cyber truck. I'm Ooh, police are up, bro. That's crazy. They actually getting the rich people shit. Bro, you, you we seen like YouTubers, uh we seen like uh some celebrities, but ma mainly wealthy people got it. I wonder how much that costs a, a cyber truck. I'm, I'm messing with Turns that. Turns out the police department in Irvine, California is getting a cyber truck. I'm familiar with nice. this because Brandon Herrera just turned his into a warthog from Halo. Whoa. At first, I thought this police cyber truck was pretty neat because let's be real, it looks like something that RoboCop got pregnant. Plus, the thing's kind of bulletproof, small arms fire. And imagine getting pulled over by a cyber truck and Robo Elon gets out, which I love because that has to be every California's nightmare. It hurts me inside and triggers me. I started reading into it a little bit more, and it turns out that they are getting this for their DARE program. Yes, the drugs are really exciting program. Excuse me, drugs, uh, what does it even stand for? They told us, but we used to just say the first thing I said. Drug Abuse Resistance Education Program. Oh, that's what it actually means. This cyber truck that the police department spent over $150,000 on sure is going to solve the fentanyl problem there in California. That's right. Your tax dollars went to a $150,000 cyber truck for the D.A.R.E. program. Maybe I'll start doing fentanyl too. On the bright side, this police cyber truck did come with a pretty insane video to showcase it for some reason. Playing the Terminator theme music is pretty crazy, by the way. Check out some of these guys. After browsing the internet for a little bit, I didn't realize there was a dare police car culture. I'm gonna be honest with you, seeing a police car with dare written on the side makes me want to do drugs. It almost looks like some departments, though, try to out dare each other's car. Also, I guarantee you this Camaro is confiscated from a drug dealer or something. <laughs> firing guns in the air and even threatening to kill people. I said Washington, right? Okay, for a minute, it sounded like Florida. SWAT rolls in at about 1 a.m. They fire up their drones, shoot that baby into the air, and this is what they see. That's right. Once you see the suspect starting to put on ear pro, things might be getting a little bit serious. He also has on a ballistic helmet and a gas mask while he is setting up firing positions all over his house. Something tells me he doesn't like police and he probably doesn't want them on his goddamn yard. That isn't all that the drone catches. We get a little look at the arsenal that this man has prepared. It's a good thing SWAT rolls up in one of these bad boys that we've seen on this channel quite a bit. But oh my god, police don't need tanks. This ladies and gentlemen is a newly purchased Linco Bearcat. Basically it's an armored vehicle with gun ports and a turret and windows and it can fit a whole SWAT team inside of it. They're pretty cool. This old Bearcat GTA right shit. here is about to be put to the test. Officers decide to pull up to the house and try to communicate with the suspect. Hey bro, uh, we see that you're wearing Air Pro and a helmet and have a lot of guns uh please don't you are under arrest you need to come to the front door with nothing in your hands fire yep he's shooting at us let all be put it out 877 he just shot at us with the whole gun you guys are all right you're all right this is why armored vehicles are a thing for SWAT. At around 2.30 a.m., the suspect starts firing at the officers with a high-powered rifle. By high-powered, I mean a 50 cal, for f**k's sake. He nearly shatters the window of the armored vehicle. 556, 762, 308, whatever you want to throw at a Bearcat, whatever. These things are built for that, right? A 50 BMG, though, that's some shady sh**. There was an officer sitting right next to that window as he was shooting at it. Can you imagine that sh**? Oh, another puckered anus. But this doesn't stop the officers from trying to de-escalate the situation. You still got his gun pointed at us. Come to the front door with nothing in your hand. Show us that you don't want to hurt anybody out here. 
Show us that you can be safe. Oh, oh, okay, that's the front. The front yeah. window's going. Yeah, it's going. It's going. Gotcha. Yeah. Going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going. Yeah. Back up. Back up. To the right. Yep. We have to leave. Our front windshield just shattered. We're gonna pull off. Stop. Okay. Oh God. Stop. Stop. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right, I know. Just keep going down or? No. I need you to back up into this avenue here. Okay. We need to stay in on scene best we can. You're alright. Good job, you guys. Show us you don't want to hurt anybody? Show us that you don't want to hurt anybody out here. Lady, his 50 cal is turning your windshield into a murder butthole. Something tells me that he wants to hurt people. What could it be? Now here's where things get even more intense. A SWAT sniper actually has eyes on the suspect. He's still refusing to come out and he keeps firing at officers. And here's when we get to see what happens when our sniper at home meets a real sniper. He's wearing a helmet and I think a gas mask. See, dude, come right again. We have eyes on him on the back side, free side. He's got a helmet on and it looks like a gas mask. <laughs> He went down. He's down in a three three side slider. With one well placed shot to the neck, our sniper drops this psychopath. Two officers are on critical incident leave right now, aka vacation for shooting at a crazy person, which is standard procedure, of course, after an officer involved shooting. One of those officers was the sniper who took the shot. The other was the oh, officer who inside of the armored vehicle when that 50 cal nearly penetrated the window. What's the takeaway from here? SWAT did what they had to do, and no officers or civilians were hurt. How much of a sh do you have to be to have a 50 cal, that many guns, all the tactical equipment in the world, great firing positions, and you? don't hurt anyone i mean i'm glad no one was hurt but that guy f***ing sucks let me know what you think about imagine having all that equipment didn't get the job done um that's crazy that's it for this reaction i'll catch you guys in the next one